Gina Davis is best known for her iconic feminist role in the film Thelma and Louise. But there aren't a lot of female-driven movies in Hollywood. Now, Davis is trying to change that. Mary H.K. Choi met up with her on the set of Fox's series The Exorcist to find out how. And the day and hour of your departure! Was there ever a job or a circumstance that led you to establish the Gina Davis Institute? It was my daughter um, that started the whole thing. I started watching little kid stuff with her, you know, so eye-opening. I think it really made me realize how few opportunities we give women to feel excited and inspired by the female characters. From the very beginning, uh, showing them worlds that are wildly imbalanced in favor of male characters. They're having the adventures, they're doing the exciting things, they're what the story is about. Does everyone in Hollywood at this point know the work you do? I think pretty much everybody knows. The producers knew about it and they said, we're really going after some female directors and the cast is dominated by women and we want to do... <laughs> <laughs> right by you, you know, we want you to not say, hey, what are you guys doing? She's even received a $1.2 million grant from Google, which the Institute used to develop the Gina Davis Inclusion Quotient. What's going to happen to her? Software that tracks the number of times a woman appears on screen and how many lines she has. One really interesting thing they found early on, which nobody was looking for, was that female characters are on screen less when they're talking. In other words, they're cutting to something else. When a movie has a male lead, the guys usually have triple the screen time and triple the lines. When a movie has a female lead, men and women usually appear the same amount of times and have the same number of lines. I have to reach everybody involved in a production in order to, to try to fix this. But what I do say is make whatever you're already gonna make. Don't add a message, don't do anything else except before you shoot it, just uh, go through the script and change a bunch of first names to female. And uh, where it says a crowd gathers, just add comma, which is half female. In 2015, films featuring a female lead did better at the box office, grossing 15.8% more than films that feature a male lead. Yet women comprised only 17% of protagonists featured in the biggest movies of the year. And while we're all aware that women aren't offered enough compelling parts in TV and film, the Institute's data is the first comprehensive study to show just how far they have to go. You know, I, I always say it's the one sector of society with big imbalance that can change overnight. I think I've latched onto something that's incredibly doable. And once I prove it with the data, people are so inclined to act on it because they didn't know. Do you have actresses ever just like call the Gina Davis bat phone when something egregious happens to them? No, but that would be so awesome. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome? I feel like you're this close to a and task that, force. Yeah, and then like Sandra Bullock calls me up and says, Gina, the extras, something's going on over here. And I'm like, I'll be right there. 